All right, but if you don't see a time lapse, then we will just pretty much just cut to building the uh, witch farms. But I want to make sure this works, and this is the wrong side. So yeah, we're going to get the uh, coordinates of the witch huts from a copy of this world when we're ready to build them, but we need to get the perimeter done first before we can do that, so let's hope for the best. We have a backup. I did in between episodes as well. Uh, get rid of some of the uh, obsidian, so as you see, some of these holes go straight down to where there used to be obsidian pockets, but we've got rid of them. Alright, I guess that's why you double check everything. <laughs> That could have been, it was quite low, so I probably would have saw it before the sweepers got to it. But that could have resulted in an issue, but if I catch it before it reaches the other side, it's not an issue at all. We have our world eater guys, you can see, up there loading all the chunks. So hopefully, even with uh, me going to one side, even though I have right an instance of, we'll put it down to 16. I'll make sure we go load all these ourselves so yeah even if I'm at one corner it should still all be loaded but just for safety precautions we're gonna have that guy up there loading the chunks for us but yeah let's cross our fingers and hope this is good Hopefully that's just a chunk load in there. Oh my, it seems to be really bad on the frames. I think I need to figure out something to fix that or improve that because that is just terrible. All right, so disabled falling entity rendering. Hopefully that improves it. So it shouldn't. We should. We shouldn't be seeing any TNT falling, but we should uh, still hear the explosions. So, we'll turn our block uh, sounds back up a little bit, like 5%. So hopefully we can still hear them. Nope, that didn't do anything. So yeah, that won't even do anything. It's not even an entity-related problem. It's this pistons being poorly optimized so let's see if this gets pushed down I'm gonna have to stay up here because I can't even move around like that's it's the pistons because it gets launched and it just destroys itself again like looking around I'll stop the system and maybe try to lower render distance by standing in the center making sure everything's still loaded but after that i'm out of ideas all right so we're coming across the last and final uh layer for the world eater now i have been getting some diamonds but not a lot just because of the stutter is quite ridiculous Let's try to get this and get out. All right. So yeah, the stutter's been still going through the whole time and I don't know why, because another one went perfectly fine. Maybe something to do with 116.4 being even worse with pistons and block updates, but I don't know anymore. So our game's been pretty much lagging up to a second behind sometimes. So yeah, this was the last layer. Now we do have some lava patches we've got to get rid of, but this has been one of the messiest perimeters I've done. I wanted to do it for speed to see if this actually is worth it, and it turns out it actually is. I'm still getting a stutter. But yeah, perimeter is fully done. We did get some diamonds. I didn't get all of them just because of the stutter thing happening pretty much all the time I went down there. It was getting kind of out of hand to the point where I just stopped after getting a stack in 52. But yeah. Perimeter is fully done now. Now, like I said, this was one of the fastest ones. 
and the most messy, but we should be able to fix that later down the line when we start working on this. So we should start working on this in this episode. I might change my first idea from instead of doing the uh, witch farms, I think I'm going to start either getting some walls up in here and probably start with the floor so we can actually get it to look somewhat decent before we start doing the full uh, farms. So yeah, I'll probably do that. And yeah. To me, this is what's precious, yeah In my soul, man, I can feel it So every single verse, man, I just gotta go and kill it Man, I gotta be the kid I could be the guy taking you out I could be the villain, but it is okay Lately, I'm painting my path in my way, yeah I got no time that I can waste So I've been sitting in the space, yeah Making runs every day, man You know that I go insane, yeah I hit you with a bullet to the brain Let us stop first, cause we going, you going insane You don't know what is next And I'm loving the fact Truly it's making me blessed Cause I work on my team No snakes in the grass And we have been trusting the wind Because of the work that we did in the past Because of the work that we did in the past When we went to hours, you barely got breath So I get the realm and we didn't finesse So I get the feelings that we might be next Cause when we go in, we win in the match yeah, yeah. When we go in, we win in the match So that's how we do, cause we be the best we be the best, best, yeah, we be the best, well, yeah, we be the best, best, nah, we be the best, hey, yeah, we be the best, best, hey, we be the best, yo, you wanna come to my test, whoa, you want to see we the best, hey, you don't see that we the best kid, so I suggest you never really come to test it, but otherwise I will smack your face, like Michael Jordan does with a ball in the basket, oh damn kid, but you didn't expect it, you never really thought that this could just happen, but now I'm really come on and we pull out with the action, just keep on the feed, those they don't get it like...
right, as you saw from that time lapse, we now have one wall and one part of the floor. So there's still 13 more segments of the floor and three more walls. So the walls are about four to four and a half hours, <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. You know, it, 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 a lot. And one segment for the floor is about an hour and a half. So yeah, this is going to take an awfully long time. I'm trying my best to get this all done in this one episode, but don't know right now. We'll have to see. Worst comes to worst, we get the floor and one more wall done. But yeah, so I put the whole layer of glass on top of the uh, bottom floor. If we want to choose the AFK lower. Since so we still have to be, there's some spawnable blocks underneath here. But yeah, so yes, I know that is spawnable up there, but we, in the center, this is more than 128 blocks away, so we don't get to worry about that. That's why I did this kind of design, but yeah. So, a lot has been used so far. So not up there with the Dark Prismarine. But we will be by the end of this. We're already at 11,000 black concrete. It's 8,000 basically purple. And any other colors relatively low because it's not as much compared to what actually is being used. But yeah, I definitely am liking how this is looking compared to the rest of the perimeter. This is my first time actually decorating a perimeter with actual detail. Usually I just do black floor and white walls across the whole thing. But I decided that we're going to do this for probably pretty much every perimeter. We're going to put at least some decoration, whether that's just changing the colors of this one. So maybe for the next one, we have a slime farm. Maybe we change the purple to like a yellow or orange, something like that. But we'll have to see in time. But I got a lot more work ahead of me. Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of a sidetrack here. Since while building the uh, perimeter decoration, I am getting quite <laughs> a lot of slime. And we do need this in the future anyway, so we're going to do it now. So right over here, we have a simple uh, mob switch. So we're going to, instead of using shulkers, since that would take us a lot longer, since I've raided pretty much every end city within a thousand, two thousand blocks of the uh, <laughs> main end island, so that would take quite a uh, far journey away. We're going to be using this simple design here. There will be a link in the description to the person with the uh, I got the idea from. So yeah, so right here, this is, actually we'll go over here first. So right there is our center spawn chunk, which is basically where I built my um, Iron farm and the spawn chunks. It's, I somehow centered it in the exact spawn chunk, which is quite uh, coincidental. But yeah, so that's that over there, and this is the uh, tenth chunk from that chunk. So our spawn chunks are 21 by 21. So basically, 10 chunks in each direction from the center chunk. So right here, this is the borderline for the last chunk in the the tenth chunk, basically. So when the mobs are here, they are counting towards the mob cap. When they are over in the red spot, they are not because they are outside of the uh, spawn chunk, so they will not be loaded. So yeah, we'll be doing a simple thing. So with the... I they did show in the video that uh, zombie villagers that you have traded with uh, still count towards the mob cap but will not despawn. So we're going to be using that to our advantage here. And the reason why we have six cells over there is we're going to get 150, yes you heard me, 150 zombies over there to pretty much secure when there's two mob caps. So pretty much when just Alex and I, right now technically all I do is need one. All I do need is uh, three of those modules filled up. And then we will have a full mob cap for one player, but since there will usually be two people on this server, we're going to... Uh, put it up to two. So then we can obviously chain it further. 
if there are more people, but I don't plan to bring any more people in the server. So yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, this will take a while. 150 mobs that we need to trade with first off. So that I pretty much gutted this thing here. We're going to get rid of this anyway. So I got to try to figure out what would be the easiest uh, one for me to trade with. Because I currently do not know. Since I have pretty much neglected this area. Now I'm pretty sure stone masons allow me to trade um, stone. But we will have to see. I do not know for sure at this current point in time. But we will definitely find the simplest one. Since yeah, we do have a lot of these uh, blocks. Alright, so there's a pretty bad ringing noise or buzzing in the back of this clip here. Hopefully that'll stop in the next video when we start using OBS. So that should be the next video after this. We start using OBS. But yeah, so it should be better quality and everything. So this clip is also in OBS. So if you see a difference and hear a difference, that is why. So hopefully that gets fixed out. I'm sorry about this. Shouldn't happen anymore. But if it does... In this video, I'm sorry, I tried trying to fix that in the upcoming future. So, back to the uh, mob cat, mob switch. All right, we're at the top of the perimeter, and it still says 75 up there. So, if I should go down here, we should not get any mobs to spawn. There's not a single mob at pitch black darkness, no slime. Nothing. This is going to be like playing on peaceful, but not actually playing on peaceful. Ooh, I'm going to like this. I can get used to this really quickly. Alright, so with this one flip of a lever right here, we will send all these mobs to the red side. And as I said before, this is the 11th chunk. So this uh, slime block area right here, yes, I changed the color of my slime blocks again. They are now light blue, or cyan as you would like to call them. So yeah, they're here. This is the 10th chunk away from our center chunk of our spawn chunks. And on the right side where the red area is, they are not no longer in the spawn chunks. So a quick lever here. There you see the water gets dispensed. They get shot up. And that's why we're only doing uh, cells with 25. And yeah, so we should eventually, they all should fall in. This guy is jumping, so that's causing an issue, but there you go. They're all in. Now, if we go back to the perimeter, we should have a zero or a dotted line in place of that 75 next to the 70. And yeah, there we go. So there's a da dashed line there, or a solid line. And if we go down here, we should start to see some mob spawn. Yep, there you go. So there's your mob switch for one player cap, or one mob cap right now. Now you can stack this, you can pretty much each player, if they're in different sections, gets not their own mob cap, but adds to the mob cap. So that 70 up there will go up to 140, or 145, I don't remember. So that's why we're doing uh, cells with 25 and 6 of them, so that gives us 150, so that gives us a little bit of leeway for if we ever decide to, you know have both of those on at the same time in completely different areas. We flip that mob switch on and we won't have to deal with mobs anymore. So I want to go put that back on while I'm building this. And this will just make sure I don't have to sleep. I don't have to worry about any mobs. It just makes the whole thing a huge quality of life. And I'm going to use this for a lot of things. Alright, so big, 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 big jump cut. As you can see, we have shaders on, just because I think this is going to look so much better with shaders. And we are completely done. Now, obviously the sun, where the sun is not, you can't see very well. But when the sun hits, it looks ridiculously cool. This thing is fully done. 155,000 blocks have been placed between me and Alex. Like... I still can't believe this is like my first perimeter that I actually decorated with a custom wall and floor. It doesn't look as cool as this does. This right here 
this view looks absolutely amazing. Let's go up here to the very top and just look at our amazing witch farm perimeter that I've spent a week on. So, yeah. The floor, honestly, was the easier part. Even though it looks more complicated, it is a lot easier to do than the 80 plus uh, tall walls. But, yeah. Still very happy with how this turned out. Try to mix up a little bit by doing the mob switch so we have something for the future. We have 150 mobs still. Even both of us on pretty much complete opposite sides of the perimeter. There's no mobs, which is such an amazing thing and such a quality of life thing that just makes everything so easy and peaceful. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, all those sorts of things, and we'll be back in the next one to do the witch farms. So see you in the next one.